you said you're shooting this film in 2015. You know, I mean, in the last two years since Ferguson in 2014, I mean, as you said, with the iPhones and the viral video shooting uh, footage and shootings and whatnot, what did it feel like to, I mean, be like a sharpshooter with a gun? Like your whole, the whole cast was about guns. What did that feel like, given what was going on in the world, in the country no. around you? You know, violence doesn't come easy to me. I don't like fighting. I don't like, it's not something I, um, I don't hang my masculinity or my self-worth on that. Uh, uh, some people do, and I don't. I never have, and I don't like it. It makes me really uncomfortable. But I had already about, at age 30, realized that if I wanted to have a career as an actor, that violence is a huge part of storytelling. Oof. And if you want to tell stories your whole life, and you want to say that you don't care about violence, you're not interested in you want to, that's fine, but you're not telling the truth. You know, the history of mankind is very violent. In the history of art, I mean, mm -hmm. Julius Caesar ends in dead bodies. Hamlet ends in dead bodies. Mm -hmm. You know, um, most of the great Greek myths, uh, most of all the myths from every culture that ever uh, mankind has ever evolved from uh, involves violence. Mm -hmm. We are turned on by it excited by it um, and interested in what it symbolizes and means and to not tell those stories is to not tell the truth about some part of ourselves mm -hmm. you, you know mm -hmm. and so I, I decided that what we need if you have a political agenda about gun laws and gun control then policy is extremely important because our imagination we want freedom and in our actual behavior we need to take guns out of the hands of young people out of uh, you know what's the expression common sense gun laws you mm -hmm. know what i mean mm -hmm. that is a no-brainer but censoring art will not create policy 